What's up, y'all? It's your girl, El Rochelle, the Hardwood Diva, and I am here for our Diva Mommy Mondays. Yes, it is Monday, December 1st. Can't believe we're into December. And I am on week 30 of this wonderful, amazing ride called pregnancy. I am three quarters of the way through. I still cannot believe it. It's crazy to think, um, but I'm really excited. So let's kind of just dive into what's been going on for me this week. First up, there's Thanksgiving. I'm so excited. I love to eat. Um, I had a great time going to visit family, um, just seeing family that I hadn't seen in a while, letting everyone see the belly, get excited, all that fun stuff. So it's been really, really great. Um, so that this was really fun um, about this week. Um, also painted the soon-to-be nursery. As you can see, the red wall is now gray. Um, we're very excited about that. That took a couple of days, but it is finished. We are excited. I'm happy. I know originally I said I was going to do part two of the nursery this week, but after really considering things, I prefer to wait until the nursery is more complete um, when we have a few more of the larger items, uh, the dresser in place, get all this stuff up off the floor, <laughs> um, all of these paint supplies, um, have the crib in place, and just a couple more things just when the room is a little more set. Um, I was going to just show you what it looks like painted, but I'd prefer to do that. I just like the completion of it. Uh, so we'll hold off. Uh, major symptoms, issues this week. Uh, the back pain has been a lot and that just is going to of course deal with the fact I was doing a lot of work especially these last few days with the painting. Um, I tried not to do too much but I have stairs, bringing things, too many Home Depot runs. Um, it, it, it got a little stressful. It got a little, it got a little bit much for my body so I definitely was going to sleep every night tired. So that's kind of been one of those things, but it's expected. I'm 30 weeks pregnant. Um, we are two and a half months from the end of this thing. Um, actually a little less than that, like two months, like literally in a week, it's like 60 days. Um, so there's that. Then also nosebleeds, had those in the second trimester, especially early in the second trimester. They'd gone away, but with this dry winter air, they come back and they come back with a vengeance. Uh, kind of been a lot tougher. I've gotten a little more uh, of them, but with a humidifier, definitely happy that we were able to curtail that. I had a few this week, but last few days haven't had anything major, so I'm excited about that. And hopefully they end. And with this rainy weather that we're having here in Los Angeles, I can kind of get some dampness in the air and help with my nasal cavity. Um, but this week what I do want to talk about is kind of shopping for baby and making those registry decisions. Um, with our baby shower coming up, that's definitely one of the things that we had to do was kind of research. And I've been researching that for months now. That's mainly because both my husband and I are very conscious of certain things when it comes to the baby. I want cute and fun and exciting things that aren't expensive. Um, and then I also want things that are baby safe, eco-friendly, that... I can trust my child to be in. So one of the first things I'll tell you to research, diapers. You are going to need tons and tons and tons of those. They're going to touch your baby's bottom for a very long time. I know people don't want to hear that. For a long time, lengthy enough. Um, so you need to make decisions. Are you going to use disposable? Are you going to use cloth? If you're going to do those two options, are you comfortable with both of them? And then how do you pick and choose? Um, my favorite thing to do, of course, YouTube. Um, and then the second thing I used a lot, especially for my registry with other items as well, was babygearlab.com. They are amazing at researching and chronicling uh, their testing of all different types of baby items. They'll give you the top 10. Top 10 cloth diapers, the top 15 disposable diapers, Top cribs, or uh, top strollers, jogging strollers, strollers with umbrellas, strollers with this. It was amazing. So I love them. Um, I would definitely check them out. Um, for all of these things, you're making sure you're going with what's comfortable for you, what's within your budget. And that's one of the things that they definitely do. <clears throat> they like to focus on eco health um, matters. But they also want to make sure that you're getting the best for your money as well. So they put a top pick, which is the best out there sometimes and most of the times the most expensive um then they have an editor's pick which is something that maybe it's not that top pick but if they were spending their own personal money to do it this is what they would purchase for their child so 
you want to go through there and check baby gear lab out i'll put the link down in the box of course um and just have fun um i got a lot of advice from others not just through youtube just through friends and family that have had kids before um, my four registries are yeah no four amazon.com target bye bye baby and diverse.com so i've used all uh, i have registry i have stuff on each one of them um, my main registry is going to be amazon it has everything and more because you can pull stuff from other places as well that i really do love about amazon um, and hubby and i use amazon all the time so there's lots of things that we can get for using an amazon registry um so those are the four that I chose and I definitely think you should go with the places that you are more, most comfortable with and the places that you shop at and that are comfortable for you. Amazon and Target both get lots of uh, use out of our lives. So it would not be anything different to go to Amazon, go on to Amazon or go to Target to pick things up. So we're very comfortable with those two. And then Bye Bye Baby and Diapers.com are both very amazing bye bye baby especially for just like all these gadgets and things that you never knew of never thought that you would need they're great love them so i would go with them so if you want to look anything up my best my best advice for you research 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 youtube babygearlab.com other moms friends and family utilize them as much as you possibly can um, and just get information on what people used, what they didn't use, what they liked, what they didn't like. So there you have it, my few little tips on picking, shopping for baby, and choosing your registry. So you guys have a wonderful week. I will talk to you later. Next week I'll detail kind of what goes on in my 30-week midwife appointment, which is happening tomorrow. Um, and then just more fun stuff that we've gone through. Oh, I have my maternity shoot next week, so I'll talk a little bit about that as well. Love you guys.